welcome to my channel. I'm Lily, and today I'm sharing a really important message with you guys. I'm sure you guys have heard about global warming and the effects it's causing on our whole Earth, and how it's mainly affecting the Arctic, or the, at least that's what people are mainly focusing on. Well, it's also affecting our oceans. So I'm going to share a message with you about something that makes the ocean so much prettier, our coral reefs. So let's hop right in and let's get started. So when we look at coral, we mainly think of this type of like figure. We think of beautiful branches and things like this from all the movies we've seen. But now they're starting to look like this. All of those stick things on the floor is dead coral. When we want it to look like this, this is the start of an amazing grief with all these little tiny heads yeah. of coral. In order for us to get anywhere near that beautiful stage that I showed you in the first picture, we have to go through the reproduction cycle. Now, coral is capable of both sexual and asexual reproduction. When we look at coral, the first thing we see is this. But when you closen up on one of the arms, you see this. Now these little flower things are polyps. This is where the sperm and the egg come from. Every, a few times a year, they will release both the sperm and the egg at the same time. In the water, they will come together to fertilize the eggs. And then, planula larva is created. This larva will then go and find a hard surface. Usually it tends to be rocks or sunken items. Then they will grip onto this hard surface and start forming new coral. The asexual reproduction is for the mature polyp to begin to bud. Budding is when a new organism develops from a bud of an existing organism. So basically, these little polyps will sprout from this large polyp. That is how we get our beautiful coral reefs. But we do have some really big harms to our reefs. So I'm gonna just tell you three. First off, we have overfishing. Fishing, overfishing a reef is not good because that depletes the population of fish and the fish take care of the reef. And when you are told to have a limit, even when you're fishing by yourself, please obey it so we can keep our reefs healthy. Another thing is littering. Go to the beach next time, imply the pick three rule. Just pick up three pieces of litter and you've already saved three pieces of coal. And last but not least is sunscreen. I'm all for sunscreen and not getting burned and keeping ourselves protected, but sunscreen is harmful to our reefs. It has chemicals in it that kills the coral. So please don't use more than you need. There are also coral friendly brands. So take a look at those too. Please protect our reefs. Thank you so much for listening to my little message on coral. It is so amazing to see these when you snorkel, dive, or just be in the ocean. To keep these amazing creatures in our life, let's try and protect them. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.